Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the architecture of Sonar Cube and the basic features of Sonar Cube. Before discussing about architecture, let us discuss about why we use Sonar Cube and the features of Sonar Cube. Sonar Cube is used for code quality management. In software projects, the developers develop using many languages like Java, C++, Python, and so on. The quality of the code should be very important. We should have less number of bugs. The code should be maintainable. There should be less number of security vulnerabilities in the code, and the developer should follow the standard guidelines of the coding. We should have less number of duplication in the code. So Sonar Cube will help the developers to improve the standards of the coding by following various rules provided by Sonar Cube. So Sonar Cube will provide the set of standard rules, and the developers will follow the set of standard rules during the development. Then Sonar Cube will perform the static code analysis. Here, static in the sense. The code is not in execution, so the development source code and their compiled binaries will be given as input to the static code analysis in addition to the rules provided by Sonar Cube. So here, quality profile means a combination of rules. Generally, for each application, we'll have a corresponding project in Sonar Cube. So for each project, we'll have a corresponding quality profile. That means each application will follow a set of standard rules during development. So this quality profile as well as the source code. Will be given as input to the static code analysis. So Sonar Cube will perform the static code analysis. Then it will generate a report. The report will contain the bugs in the code, the maintainability issues, which are also called as code smells, and the security vulnerabilities, and so on. So these are all the issues which are generated in the report by code quality analysis, which is also called static code analysis. In addition to these issues, Sonar Cube also provides the measures and metrics. So these metrics are the aggregation of the issues. In the report, for example, the number of lines of code, or the number of duplications of code, and so on. Here, the measure indicates the value of this metric at a particular instant of time. For example, the number of duplications of code in version V1 of application. So, these metrics and measures will be useful for measuring the quality of the code. Finally, we have another feature called quality gate. So, in this quality gate, we can set the threshold of each of the measures. So, for example, we can set The number of duplications of the code should not be greater than some amount. If during our analysis, if the measure crosses this quality gate or the threshold value, our code quality check will be failed. If all the measures do not cross the thresholds, that means all the quality gates will be passed, and we can move our code to next stage of development. For example, we can move our code to deploy in QA environment or in production, and so on. And if any measure crosses threshold, Then our quality gates will be failed, and we cannot move our code to next stage of the development life cycle. Now we understand the basic features of the static code analysis, like quality profiles, quality gates, the issues, the measures and metrics, and so on. Now let us go back to the architecture. So this is the architecture of Sonar Cube. Here we can see the source code, which is developed by the developers for various applications. So the code can be in Java. Or C++ or Python and so on. So for doing static code analysis on the source code, we have a component called scanner. So this scanner is the main part which does the actual static code analysis in Sonar Cube. So this scanner can be installed in any client machine. For example, we can install this client directly in the client machine, and we can run the command line which will invoke the scanner and perform the analysis on the source code. And this scanner. Can also be a part of the build tools like Maven, Gradle, and so on. In case of Maven, we have a corresponding scanner plugin which performs the static code analysis, and also in case of Gradle, we have corresponding Gradle plugin. So this scanner can also be a part of our CI/CD tools like Jenkins and so on. In case of Jenkins, we have a plugin which needs to be installed for performing this static code analysis. So once we install the scanner. And run the scanner for analysis. It will produce the reports. So these reports will be sent to the Sonar Cube server. Even though the scanner is part of client machine, to perform the static code analysis, it needs the server because the scanner needs to download the required files like the quality profiles, the configuration files, and so on. So once the analysis is completed, it will generate a report, and the report will be sent to the Sonar Cube server. So in the server, we have three components. The compute engine, the web server, and the search server. The compute engine 
will take the reports from the scanner and it will process those reports and after processing it will store the corresponding snapshot in the database here the quality snapshot indicates the combination of the measures the issues and so on and this web server will provide the user interface for seeing all these reports in the sonar cube server and also to configure various tasks in the sonar cube server for example we can create quality profiles and also we can create quality gates and we can configure various plugins in the sonar cube server so when we change any configuration the web server will store corresponding configuration in the database so this database will contain the quality snapshots the configurations and so on we also have one more component elastic search server so we can use this component to search various issues measures and so on in the sonar cube server so these are the main important components of this sonar cube architecture so in this video we have seen the basic architecture of sonar cube and also the important features of sonar cube in the next video we'll discuss about how to set up a sonar cube server in linux environment i hope this video helps thanks a lot for watching